Wuhan's controversial virology institute is doing research on another virus. And this one could be even more deadly than the CCP or Chinese Communist Party virus. It's called the Ebener Lake virus. Ebener Lake virus. Is it the next potential pandemic in the making? Let's get to know about the new virus that the Chinese military are now working on. Ebener Lake and Wetlands are the largest saltwater lake in western Xinjiang Uyghur, autonomous region of China. The lake is located within the Ebener Lake Wetland National Nature Reserve, near the border of China and Kazakhstan. This virus got its name from the area where it was first found, the Ebener Lake area in Xinjiang region. It was isolated from a certain type of mosquito there. This is the first time the Ebener Lake virus has been studied, though it had previously been found in nature. Inside this reserve, its ecology system is almost widely undisturbed and has a complex environmental structure and diverse habitats, which includes small water bodies, swamps, and meadows. At present, there are hundreds of species of birds and wild animals along with various plant species had been found in this reserve. which has become an important and diverse component of China's biodiversity and a natural gene pool. Over the years, in addition, Ibiner Lake is used as the main gathering area during the migration period of birds in Central Asia, where it provides a suitable habitat and ecosystem for mosquito breeding and a virus vector host cycle. In the most recent years, the China-Kazakhstan border has now become a crucial trading region that connects China with countries in Central Asia and Europe. As a result, trade and travel across this region have shown rapidly increased the potential risk of the introduction and exportation of vectors and their related diseases to other countries across their borders and the wider world. Now let's dive into the Abiner Lake virus debacle, to which the Chinese military is working on, at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. The Abiner Lake virus was isolated originally from Culex modestus mosquitoes in 2013 in Xinjiang in China. The new infection doesn't come from bats or seafood like the CCP virus is thought to. Instead, it's mainly transmitted through mosquitoes or ticks. Culex modestus is a species of blood-feeding mosquito. To gain practical insights into the potential risk of the Abiner Lake virus in the region and the wider world, a study was conducted that would clearly outline Abiner Lake virus biological characteristics and its human seroprevalence in this region. The Abiner Lake virus replicated efficiently and caused cytopathic effects in vertebrate cells. The survival rates of the Abiner Lake virus challenged mice were 0 and 20 percent when vaccinated with viral concentrations. Scientists there discovered that mice are easily infected by the virus and died within five to nine days of catching it. The new virus also caused problems almost everywhere in the body. The infected mice lost weight and showed mild symptoms of brain swelling. The virus also attacked the rodent's central nervous system, blood, liver, spleen, and other areas. Mice are highly susceptible to a Binner Lake virus infection. All mice that were vaccinated with 106 and 104 plaque-forming units of a Binner Lake virus per animal died within seven days. The infected mice show clinical signs of illness, displayed as decreased appetite, weight loss, ruffled fur, general weakness, mild encephalitis, and death. Immune response of Abiner Lake virus, orthobunyaviruses are a set of viruses that is now of great importance to the public and veterinary health.
At present, studies are been carried out, with the aim is to identify, the pathogenesis and the host immune responses, of a binner lake virus in mice, as an animal model. What next, is for all countries to be on the alert, that if and when the Abinner Lake virus, becomes weaponized, they will be more prepared to deal with it. Another netizen urged other countries to get prepared, warning all countries should quickly develop vaccines. Please leave a comment, and tell me what you think of this new virus, and will it become a pandemic? Medical Disclaimer This video content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please consult with your physician with any question regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you watched in this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Click the notification bell. So you'll be notified when a new video is published.